guys, it's Jessica with Chapter Chicks, and today I am going to be talking about the top five books I want to read this summer. And I have a lot of books on my TBR that I just I don't think feel like I'm ever going to get to. So I want to kind of do this and just see if I can get to any of these this summer, kind of like a mini goal, a mini challenge for myself. Um, the first one being The Girl of Fire and Thorns. This is by Ray Carson. Um, I actually have this signed, so I went and met her, and I haven't even read it yet, and it's just such a pretty book, I don't even really know what it's about, but it's been on my shelf for a while, I feel like, and I would really like to get to it. Looks like there's magic, she's a princess, there's a prophecy, you know, it says once a century one person is chosen for greatness, so obviously that's our main character, our main protagonist here, but, you know, I've, I've been reading a lot of contemporary lately, and loving the contemporary, but I still want to keep my toes in the fantasy water. So I feel like this is going to be a good book. I feel like it's going to be kind of quick. It's not a huge book. But look, it's like weathered. It's old. I need to read it. The next thing I want to read is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I've never read a Sarah Dessen book, and I feel like Sarah Dessen and Summer kind of go hand in hand. So many people try to read her books and some of more summery, light, chick flick books, and I haven't read one, and this is just the first Sarah Dessa. I know I have a couple of hers scattered about. This is the only one I can find right now, and it's even called That Summer, so. I also want to read Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I am obsessed with Rainbow Rowell. She is amazing. I've loved her two books that I've read so far, Fangirl and Attachments, and I have all of her books except for the one that's coming out soon, obviously, and this is just... I've heard that this one was just as good as Fangirl. People will have like rivalries over which one's better, Eleanor and Parker Fangirl. And I really want to read this because it's just everything that Rainbow Rowell has written so far I've really, really loved. So, Plus it's another contemporary to keep me going on my contemporary train. I also want to read The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bra Bracken. This book feels so dense. It's not a huge book, and to be honest the words are kind of big in the book. But it's another kind of fantasy one that I've heard nothing but good things about. I'm trying to get some of the big the big ones over on BookTube off my TBR as well, so I kind of can watch those videos and see what they're about. I really like this series because the titles, this is not big news to anyone else, but the titles make a sentence. The darkest minds never fade in the afterlife, I think. But yes. I want to read this, although it does feel very dense. It feels very heavy compared to other books, but I can't wait to read it. And then another book that I want to read this summer is one that really could be part of a Dusty Challenge. It has been on my bookshelf since probably year one or year two of booktubing, and that is Other by Karen Kinsey. Um, this is just going to be another really fast, light read. It's about a shapeshifter. Probably very typical YA, but sometimes it's good to go back to the roots. Of YA. And plus the cover is really pretty and this was just in one of my bookshelves or my book boxes that I couldn't get to until I started spreading out my bookshelves. And now I want to read it because I realized that it's been on my bookshelf forever and I haven't read it so it would be good to knock that off. Alright guys, that's Jessica. With, I'm Jessica with Chapter Chicks. That was five books that I would like to get to this summer and I hope you guys enjoyed the